Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Today I have a quick tip for you. Actually, it might be a little counterintuitive for some people, but basically it's how to turn a stereo track into mono in Studio One. Why do I do this? Well, when I record guitars, I usually use my 11 rack, and I've got it rigged up through a Studio Live 1602 digital mixer on a stereo channel. So, Because sometimes I like to record stereo guitar uh, patches, and but a lot of times when I'm doing like rock recordings and blues recordings, the rhythm guitars are really mono and they're panned hard left or hard right. I don't need it in stereo. So I want to turn it into a mono track. And I know you can do that simply by clicking this mono mode here, the channel mode. But I like to have it as a, as a visual reference as a mono track so that I know when mixing that that track is mono. So there's a pretty simple way to do this. First, let me play this for you. This is... Um, Right now we're set up in stereo. This is a stereo guitar, and you'll hear it's filling up the spectrum. Okay, so that's stereo guitar. And this comes into play when you're doing things like chorus or pan delay, stuff like that. You know, so you, know, you really want to have that stereo field. But in this case, I don't want it. I just want a straight rhythm guitar that's going to be in the left channel. So... Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you I can just by changing the channel mode, it'll go from stereo to mono. Here we go. So you'll hear you'll, you'll watch me change this in a few seconds. Let's start with stereo. Now it's mono. So if I wanted to pan pan it to the left, you could see. Sounds like a mono guitar. And I could just leave it at that, and that's fine. But what I like to do is I want to see it visually as a mono. I'm never mono, mono track. I'm never going to use this as a, as a stereo track. So all I've got to do is go here and click, uh, click Bounce Selection. And what that'll do is it'll bounce this track from stereo to mono once as long as I have the channel mode set to mono. So all I, check it out. There you go. So now it's a mono track. Okay. And I could do this by Command-B or on the on the PC, it's Control-B, but it's pretty simple. And now when I look at it as a reference, I see it as a mono track. And you can see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo to back to stereo. You'll see there's no sonic difference. So there's no sonic difference, but visually, I know this is a mono track. So you may not ever use this, but for me, it just keeps th keeps things organized, especially when you've got a bunch of tracks and you're trying to look at things quickly visually to know what's what. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you like it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and have a great day.